Look over my shoulder and watch as I create a 30 second nature observation for nature's wild things. See my workflow process for transforming raw video footage into something ready for publishing. Today we're going to look at uh, some of the video from December 27th. We've already uh, in a screencast gone over this video and found our favorites and now we're going to take some of that video and transform them into 30 second observations so that uh, people can better observe these uh, squirrels. It's sort of like a photograph but it's a 30 second photograph. Oftentimes we slow down the motion so we can really see and observe what's happening and how it's happening. Well let's uh, take our Final Cut Pro software program. Let's kind of make some room for the raw videos. Let's take and look at our favorites from that day's worth of uh, raw videos and our photo walk that we took. It's kind of an urban environment. And uh, looking at the videos here, we can kind of skim through and see uh, different possibilities here. I think there's maybe three or four little potential videos in here. These videos can be shared on uh, groups in Facebook and posted on uh, YouTube channels nature channels on YouTube so there's some things we can do with these 30 second observations I want to find uh, there we go let's I think there's a video in here somewhere I don't want a video of him just scratching but uh, I think there's a video in here and uh, going to try to select um, a little piece of video right there. He runs off. But look at that real slow. He kind of runs off, waves his tail, and is gone. I like creating photographs that surprise the person looking at it because the subject sits still I may slow it down to help him sit still and then uh, all of a sudden he jumps off but he goes in slow motion so you can really see what what's happening in the video so we have a untitled project in our Final Cut Pro software that we can use to um, create this 30 second video. And uh, down here is what uh, we call the timeline. This area here at the bottom is where we actually put a video clip. I've selected a, that segment of video and I've placed it down here. And that segment of video is not too long so let's kind of expand it out and we're actually dealing with just a little over two seconds worth of video and uh, we can see that two seconds in real time it happens so quickly that you would just happen there usually <laughs> in my mind anyway it's like oh he ran off but that's all I know is he ran off I didn't actually get to observe his body motion and what he was doing when he ran off and that's what we're gonna do here we're gonna um, we're gonna bring out uh, that uh, that motion and allow you to see it just by slowing it down here and uh, one of the things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and add some custom time here so that the clip is 30 seconds long 
30 seconds is usually not too long to lose your uh, viewers attention uh, but it's long enough to really let you see motion because that's what that's what uh, video is about it's motion and action a still photo tells a story but a piece of video can tell you a lot more story let you observe so much more so we have our video now increased to uh, 30 seconds we're going to uh, change our timeline here so that 30 seconds is right here so now we can see our video now when we play this we'll see a slowed down version of that two seconds worth of, of uh, video and it's showing here seven percent so this is going to be seven percent of the original speed and now it's playing it's almost like a still photograph the squirrel is just sitting there sitting there sitting there and all of a sudden he's going to jump over an obstacle and down the tree oh, but wait gonna leave his tail behind gonna wave it at us and he's gonna take off that's our video here the video is fairly stable motion wise um, so that uh, we don't have to really try to uh, take any jitter or uh, bouncing out of the video we can do that with Final Cut Pro X um, when we slow video down it slows sound down too and that sound becomes just nothing it's just garbly good so we're going to purposely go down to the video clip here and we're just going to take the sound away we're going to turn the sound down so most of the 30 second clips that I produce have no sound attached to them but then with Facebook the primary place where these 30 second photos are displayed uh, the pre-roll when you scroll through your timeline and you see my video the video automatically starts playing but those videos auto start without audio so you don't hear the audio anyway unless you purposely click on the video click a play button then the video comes up in a bigger viewer screen and the audio is turned on so um, the little 30 second videos I, I don't really worry about having an audio track there if I'm just showing the effect of a photograph and then as you're looking at the photograph for an instant kind of absorbing what's uh, what's in that photograph then that uh, that surprise of the motion there oh I'm not looking at a photograph I'm looking at video it takes him almost 10 seconds so it's a photograph for 10 seconds although you can see him breathing and his heart pounding a little bit but uh, then he jumps away so we don't need to stabilize we've taken the audio off what else do we need to do here we could you know the composition here he's sitting off to the left a little bit and there's more of nothing on the right his tails up behind some tree branches and he has an unfortunate branch right in front of his body but uh, uh, when you're out in the middle of the woods sometimes you have that so let's uh, do one more thing here I'm going to uh, turn on a set of tools here and let's get some video on the screen move the playhead there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at uh, the video let's move the playhead so we can see him sitting there there we go and now we're going to crop it so just like a photograph 
video can be cropped. And just like a photograph, when you're viewing the photograph, you can even apply the Ken Burns effect, which takes a still looking picture and uh, adds motion to it. Almost like you're watching video only, it's a still picture. And uh, let's try a little Ken Burns here. Now, when we go to apply a Ken Burns effect, we have to have the playhead somewhere on the video where um, we can get a sense for where we need to put the start and end points of, uh, of our video. So we, we can grab two different things. We can grab the, the start window, you might say, and that's what we see when the video starts. I want to get his whole foot in there. His tail's already obscured. And uh, I want to maybe just make it a little bigger. We want to be able to see his tail and the direction he goes in. All right. So now we have, that's the start uh, part of the video. And uh, let's look at the end part of the video. And it jumped here. And we really want to see his tail sort of give us a, a wave goodbye there. And uh, we'll center it a little bit. And let's go up and hit Done, and let's actually view what, what we've created here now. This is not going to be much motion, but what I did has the effect of cropping it a little better, taking off some of that uh, space on the right that we didn't need, and focusing a little on that waving tail at the end. So let's look at what happens here. I've got my still photo. They're looking at it, they're looking at it, but he's breathing, he's moving, and uh, all of a sudden he jumps. Um, and he goes down the tree, and there's that tail right in center frame. He's going to wave it, and he's off. So, so little motion in that Ken Burns effect that you barely notice it. But if you rewatch the video again, and let's play it, upper right hand corner, you can see kind of the corner of the frame, and you can see it moving, moving, moving. So ever so slowly in that 30 second time period, it's zooming in, it's kind of moving the frame so that uh, at the very end, we're kind of zoomed in on the tail, and we're going to see it wave, and away you go. Our video is almost done here now, so let's uh, do one more thing. We want to apply a uh, an effect at the end of the video. Let's get it so we can see the end of the video right in here. He leaves, and at that point we want to add a dissolve. And when we add that dissolve, the effect is it's going to go to black. And what we want to do is we want to see that wave and then we want it start going to black. So let's play that now and look at it. The, the squirrel is waving at us. Away he goes and it just instantly starts going to, to black. Okay. So let's look at the entire video here now. We can see them sitting. It's a photograph. It's a photograph. It's a photograph. Oh, it's not a photograph. It's a video. It's slow motion. Cool. He's jumping over the obstacle. Oh, he's going down the tree. Okay, he's going to wave his tail. And that's our little video clip.